huge benefit of living society. It's a huge benefit of trade, of living in groups, and it's why people move to the city. There's a huge uh, advantage in numbers and in networks that are created when we can meet face to face. But we want to make sure that we can meet face to face without you pulling a gun and, and and destroying everything that I built. Right. Now to identify that, you know, we have come up with a concept, and that concept is individual rights. What does a right mean? A right means that uh, it's it's kind of an ethical political concept, but it's really in ethics. It basically says that uh, you are free as an individual to use your mind and to act on your judgment in pursuit of your values, free of coercion, of force, of authority. Mm -hmm. And that so individual rights recognizes your freedom as an individual to use your mind in pursuit of your values. It recognizes the fact that force is the enemy of reason. It says, you have a right to be free of force. And now how do we how do we operationalize individual rights? Mm -hmm. I would say we need to form an institution, right? Mm -hmm. The basic job is to prevent people from shooting each other. Its basic job is to prevent people from stealing from one another, to prevent people from violating other people's rights. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then arbitrating disputes, because sometimes it's tricky to figure out who violated whose rights, whose property line is it, who's... And that's, that's, let's call it government. It's a horrible word these days, but that's what governments should be for. That's it. It's, mm -hmm. the, it's, the, it's the protect our rights and to arbitrate, arbitrate disputes. And that's all we need governments for. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and we need them because you need an institution to be able to do that, uh, to extract force from human society because force is so evil. Now, property rights are derivative of the fundamental right to life. That is, if you have a right to live your life based on your judgment in pursuit of your values, property is a, a big way, maybe the most important way in which you do that, right? Right. You, there's no meaning to living your life in pursuit of your values if you don't get to keep the product that you produce, that anybody can take it from you at any point. That's what it means to live your life based on your values. So the most important derivative from the right to life is the right to property. The right. right to free speech, the right to liberty is another one, right? These mm -hmm. are these are rights that are derived, but really there's only one right. And that's the right to your life. The right to do what, what you want to do with your life in pursuit of your values, using your reason. And, you know, you're going to do stupid things sometimes. Right. <laughs> Immoral things sometimes. But as long as you're not violating other people's rights, it's none of the government's business. And, the, and, and rights are not there to protect you. So you can do stupid things, right? So they're to protect you. So you can do smart things. But because the government is not in a position to decide what's smart and what's not, it has to permit you to do anything. Right. As long as you don't violate other people's rights. Interesting. Okay. So the, I've, my prior view was the sole human right was choice, essentially. But I guess that you're, you're effectively saying the same thing, the life, right? Like you own your life. And then you get to choose what to do. Yes, with it. I don't like to say own life only because ownership, ownership is something you do once you're alive. So life predates ownership, if you will. Mm. So owning your life kind of, I think, uh, inverts the hierarchy in terms of what comes first. First, you live. And yeah, my life's mine. Nobody else's. It's mine. And then that means my choices are mine. That means, and this is where individual rights comes, my actions are mine. I have a right to act on my own behalf based on my judgment. So choice is too inside your head. Action is what rights are really about. Rights are about freedom of action. It's about the ability to act in the world out there. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you 
who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.